Proponent to the in the last class, we have discussed about some basic concepts of geography. What is geography? The subject matters of geography. And we also know some features with regarding hemosphere, atmosphere, biosphere and others. What is our syllabus? It consisting of Indian geography. With regarding Indian geography, the first chapter we are discussed about India. India, the location of India. Where India that located or geographical position of India. We know that India that lies in North Eastern Hemisphere. India that lies in North Eastern Hemisphere. India is the seventh largest country. We know the latitude, longitude, and all these in the first chapter. Whereas, now we are discussing about the second chapter, India Physiography. Chapter 2, India is Physiography. Or, the physical features of India. Peninsular plateau, it consisting of plain lands. 
Rework lines, various river lines, coastal lines, islands. These are the different landforms or variety of landforms of our country. So these landforms, they are influence on river system. The land structure it is highly influenced on the river systems. The river system. The climatic condition, climate, climatic conditions, natural vegetation, natural vegetation, natural vegetation, land use, agriculture, land use, agriculture, population. Population. All these factors that are influenced by these platforms. That means the structure of a land it is highly influenced by the river system of our country, climatic condition of our country, the natural vegetation of our country, the land uses of our country, agriculture of our country. And even the distribution of population. So many factors that are influence the landforms. That means our India has a different or various landforms like mountain, plateaus, plains, coastal plain, islands, and others. So these influence the river system, climatic condition, natural vegetation. Land use, agriculture, population, and other factors. So we know that the river system we call as North Indian River, South Indian Rivers. Climate, North Indian climate is different from South Indian climate. Natural vegetation. India has a wide varieties of natural vegetation. Land use patterns, agricultural practices. Even distribution of population, all these factors that are highly influence on the landforms. Now we want to know physiographic division of India. Physiographic division. In order to better understanding of any geographical area, for better understanding of any geographical area. We are classified some features. So we call as physiographic divisions or physical features of India. Now we want to discuss about which are these physiographic features. First one, the northern mountains. Northern mountains. Secondly, second division, the northern great plains, northern great plains, northern great plains. Thirdly, the peninsular plateau, peninsular plateau. Northern mountains, northern 
red lines, peninsula plateau, coastal plains, and highlands. Now we want to discuss the first one, the northern mountains. The northern mountains. What is this? In a northern part of our country, our Himalayas, they comprise of the Himalayan range. It consists of Himalayan range. Himalayan range. Range means group of mountains. Himalaya it is not a name of a single mountain. It is a group of mountains we call as range. We call as mountain range. So the northern mountain it consists of the Himalayan mountains. They comprise of Himalayan mountains, which are a group of Yangfold mountains. Himalaya it is an example of Yangfold mountains. Yangfold mountains. to take nearly millions of years. If you take a Himalayan mountain in the villa, if you take a plains or plateaus, islands, formation, agila, it has taken, so we, what we call as theory of evolution. We know that uh, the creation of earth. So Himalayas are the example for four mountains. That means a recently formed the structure, mountain structure. Whereas our Himalaya, it has extended as a continuous chain along the northern boundaries of India. Most of our northern boundaries of our country, it is covered by or surrounded by our Himalayan way. So, the main features of our Himalaya, they are the highest mountain ranges. Himalayas are the highest mountain ranges. It consists of the world highest mountain ranges. It consists of the highest peaks highest peak. Peak means the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain we call as peak. It consists of the world highest peaks and deep valleys. Our Himalaya consists of deep valleys. Valley means a sloping area between two mountains. Valleys and Gargas, Gargas. In a valley, in the Milan ke scope aur hota hai ki wo mountain mein na ke ek hi denge sudden na ega prapat aata karegi. Ek hi denge tumbaa depth formation aayi hota hai. Ida na Gargas aata karegi. So our Himalaya that consisting of the world highest mountain ranges, highest peaks, deep valleys, gorges, glaciers, glaciers, glaciers. They are the birthplace of the rivers. They are covered by the mass of ice. So we call as glaciers. Then passes. Pass pass like go passes. P A double S P -E S passes. That means in a mountain ranges. 
the structure of our mouth, Himalaya, in some areas it is useful for the transportation we call as the mountain passes. Because it is very difficult to travel in the mountains. Ekandahali, valley sirute, gorgas sirute, glacier sirute, samanya wagi, mountain karani, kelao sumar height ali nante, ondo transport maadhe ke yogya wagi ke kata structure nirute adana mountain passes arda kariti. So these are some of the features of our Himalaya. Our Himalaya is an example for Enfold Mountains. It consists of the world highest mountain ranges, highest peaks, deep valleys, gorges, glaciers, passes, etc. What is our Himalaya? It has extended from Indus Dar. It extends from Indo, river Sindhu or Indus, Indus Gorg. It extends from Indus Gorg in the west, westerly Indus Gorg, easterly Brahmaputra. Brahmaputra Our Himalaya extend from Indus Gorg in the west Brahmaputra Gorg in the east It has extend nearly 2400 kilometers the total length of our Himalaya, it has extended nearly 2400 km. It extends from Hindu's Gorg in the west to Brahmaputra Gorg in the east. The total length of our Himalaya is 2400 km. Length, width, two forty, two forty 240 into 320. Width 240 to 320 km. They are broader towards the west. In the western part of India, it has broader. And in the eastern part of India, our Himalaya extends as a narrower. So totally, it occupies 5 lakh kilometers. Area 5 lakh kilometers. It occupies nearly 5 lakh kilometers of an area. It has a steep slope towards the south and gentle slope towards the north. Only north divide. Southerly, it has a steep slopes. India has a steep slopes and gentle slope towards the north. Towards the divide, it has a gentle slopes. It is a structure of our Himalaya. Based on the structure of our Himalaya, it has classified into three parallel ranges. Our Himalaya that consisting of three parallel ranges. They are Greater Himalaya, Lesser Himalaya, Outer Himalaya or Siwaliks. First we are discuss about Greater Himalayas. Based on the structure of our Himalaya, we are classified into three ranges or Himalaya that consisting of three parallel ranges, greater Himalayas, 
lesser Himalayas, outer Himalayas are Shivalik. First we are discuss about greater Himalayas. What is this greater Himalayas? They are the innermost part of our Himalaya. They are continuous and highest ranges. It is an innermost area. Innermost. They are continuous. They are innermost and continuous and highest ranges. It consists of the world highest ranges. Highest ranges. The greater Himalayas. They are the innermost part of our Himalaya. It has extended as continuously. And it consists in of the world highest ranges. So here the average height of these ranges is 6,100 meters. 6,100 meters. General Thaayi, 6,100 meters in the height of the area of the Himalayan area of the record as greater Himalayas. This classification is made based on structure. The greater Himalayas are innermost, continuous, and highest ranges of our Himalaya. The average height of the greater Himalaya is 6,100 meters. So, this region that consists in of the world highest peaks, that is, Mount Everest, it consisting of the world highest peaks. Mount Everest, 8,848 meters, it is the world highest peak in the world, Mount Everest, 8,848 meters, it is the highest peak. In the world. The other highest peaks of our greater Himalayas are Kanchanajunga, Dawadagiri, Mark Manastu, Nanda Devi. Kanchanajunga, it is the second highest peak of Himalaya. It has a height of 8586 meters. Kanchara Junga, Makalu 8481, Daulagiri 8172, Manastu 8156, Nanda Devi, Kanchara Junga, Makalu, Daulagiri, Kanchara Junga. Greater Himalayas are called as 
3 because generally above the height of 6000 meter our Himalaya are consisting of a mass of ice so what should be the mountain region area Himalaya Aguda Why greater Himalayas are as Himadri? Because they are covered with snow throughout the year. They are covered with snow throughout the year. So they are called as Himadri. What is your greater Himalaya that consisting of many glaciers? Glaciers are the source of the river water. And here you know, the Himadri Rashi and the Sambar become a source of the river water. So Gangotri Glacier, River Ganga form at Gangotri Glacier, Yamunotri Glaciers. And a greater Himalaya that consisting of many mountain passes. They are Barzila Pass, Zozila, Shikila, Barzil, Zozila, Shikila, these are some of the important mountain passes. They are useful for transportation in Himalayas. Whereas, towards the northwest of Himadri are called as Trans Himalaya. Towards the northwest of our Himalaya, the mountains that lie in to the Northwest of Himadri or Greater Himalayas we call as Trans Himalayas. Trans Himalayas. Here it may be one last question. What are Trans Himalayas? The mountains lying, the mountains lying to the northwest of Himadri or Greater Himalayas. Greater Himalayas are northwest.
among the three power of ranges we have to discuss about greater himalaya second lesser himalayas greater himalayas or himadri second one lesser himalayas so this himalaya range that lies in southern part of greater himalayas it is known as himachal they are also called as himachal idike himachal andru karithave the lesser himalayas are also called as himachal greater himalayas are also called as himadri so here the average height they are expected from 60 to 80 
lesser Himalaya that consisting of some hill stations. Shimla, Rani Kate, Masuri, Naini Thar, Darjili. These are some of the important, some of the important hill stations of lesser Himalayas. इले क्वेश्चन हो माउंटेन रेंजेस के हो दो वैलीज के हो इन स्टेशंस के हो माउंटेन रेंजेस पेर पंजर नवदादर नाटीवा महाबर मसूरी दाजिली वैलीज काश्मीर वैली कांगरा वैली गुरु वैली इन स्टेशन शिमला वाड़ी के मसूरी नाइनिंगा और दाजिली सो इट इज़ अबाउट लेसर इमालयास Siwalis are foothills of Himalaya, are outer Himalayas. Siwalis, Siwalik range are outer Himalayas. Outer are foothills of the Himalayas. Foothills of Himalayas. There are the outermost ranges or foothills that are located in southern part of Himalayas. Siwaliks range or outer Himalayas are foothills of. 